I've been doing this for about um, about eight or nine years or so. Yeah, I, I studied photography. I studied photography in uh, Montreal at Concordia University for a couple of years, but I dropped out of there. I actually had my professors in, in Montreal saying you should go back to Toronto and, and find a photographer you like and, and fetch him coffee and stuff like that. And, you know, we're in the business. So I, I took him up on that and I packed it in. Assisted for a little while, but then I, you know, got a break shooting some catalog. Next thing you know, I was shooting like for JC Penny and all these. The fashion industry should be grateful to Paul's professors that he heeded their advice and gave his passion a shot, as Paul has a fresh look that shows in his work. Now you're doing more. Jump down to that step. Maybe let me see it there. The art directors at the magazine came up with the concept. I think we're going to do about 14 pages. So, yeah, we've got a lot of we've got outdoor locations. We're shooting here in the cafe, and uh, we've got some sort of late night locations that we're shooting. So, yeah, it's been very well put together. Yeah, it was thought it was well thought out, and it was just a matter of coming in and shooting it. Good, that's better. Um, we had we had a narrative that we were following uh, that you know the, these two girls. You know, we're kind of like the Paris uh, and Nikki of St. Petersburg. <laughs> the rich bad girls who go to the wrong side of town and, and pick up some revolutionary bum and bring them back to their swag digs. Um, it's, it's okay to follow that, but as we've been doing it, we've, we've, we've shot it in that way, and we've also just done some just great portraits of them. You know, I think it's nice just to shoot beautiful girls in great clothes and place them just so, and we got some great portraits. So as we're doing the narrative, we're also shooting it as a series of portraits, which, which will look fantastic, I think, all laid out together. And then from there, you know, we, we talked together about locations and, you know, the stylist pulled all the clothes, you know, with that reference in mind. So the idea came from them in the first place. And then they brought me in and we bounced around ideas as far as locations and what would work with the theme. You know, it's, it's, it's a real treat to work with these guys. It's, it's a thrill for me. And the art direction's good, and the casting's fantastic, and the clothes are great. I mean, once all those things are in place, you've got a good team. It, it's, it's a treat. It's not even work, it's fun. Casting process in this case um, was done through email. It changes job to job. Oftentimes we'll do a casting and I'll be sitting there as well. But um, this was sort of put together sort of last minute. So they emailed me with some comps of a couple of gals and they were fantastic, perfect for the job. And I emailed back saying, looks great to me. And I saw their books online. And you two are really close to this guy. Really laughing, you're enjoying this guy's company. That was pretty fun. We did this cafe shot. Uh, we had the girls dancing. We got one of those bros who was like selling hats on the corner to sit down with them at the cafe. We gave them all beers and told them to tell them stories, and he did. And they started laughing. And the next thing you know, about 300 people were there. And we had some guitar players, and uh, it was fun, man. It was really fun. It was a hoot. My delight was dropping pretty fast, so I was, I was panicking. But what a blast. You know, the models were great. I'd never, I'd never met any of them before this morning. We saw their cards. So, you know, the cards only tell you so much. You, you've got to meet them in person. But, you know, they move well, you know, are they good people, they interact with each other. We needed these guys to really they're, they're, they're make like four good friends. And...
point today, we went down to look for location, and we, we came across this great little corner, had a little uh, bistro and a little cafe, and there was a guy selling books, and it was super charming, and so we thought, well, let's shoot here. And this woman came walking by, carrying like bananas and mangoes on, on her head. <laughs> and uh, we did a really great shot. I think it was one of our best shots. This little portrait of her with the other guys in front of this little doorway. And it's a little smile. Not too hot, not too sexy, more just fun. Okay. We haven't shot it yet. Okay. It's beautiful. Okay, well, uh, as far as knowing if you have, you know, the shot, the magic shot. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I do. Sometimes, you know, you just know it fell together. Everything fell together. You know? We're all Sorry, giggling and screaming. Oh, yeah. Are we done? Yeah, I think we got that. Yeah. Okay, super. And uh, you, you know you've got it. But, you know, quite often, something that seems, thank you, something that seems mundane, you know, and maybe forgettable, later on you've got the contact sheets in front of you. And you just think, wow, this was a shot. This really blew my mind. Other times, they'll shoot something and think, you know, it would really just went to hell. You know, <laughs> nothing looked good. And you know, weeks later, we'll get the film in front of us and think, man, this is this is it. This is the shot. And oftentimes, you know, those have been covers. You know, sometimes you use a clip test. You know, you, you just run one frame of a roll in the lab just to see if the rest of the you know the rest of the roll needs whatever kind of processing time. And often that little clip test is the one, it's the shot. So, yeah, often you'll know, you'll, or you'll really think that you've got it, or you know you've got the shot, and more often than not, I'm surprised by the ones that, you know, seem to have slipped by. Uh, yeah, I was really happy with the shots today. They went, they went very, very well. And I'm glad, because we didn't have much time to think about them. So we did the entire story in two hours. It stopped raining, so we decided to go to the island to do that yacht shop. We went down there with the yacht, and uh, the sun came out of nowhere. More straight to us, Philip. It's straight. Turn this way. And lean a little forward. OK, here we go. Great, thank you. It was, and it was great. It was great. It looked beautiful. And then, like, with this little tiny window, and we managed to get a shot. Straight to us. And lean a little forward. Okay, here we go. The concept was pretty simple. They were just strong single shots, no variation. Get the shot we want and shoot it. We didn't. We weren't, we weren't shooting any incidental shots. There was no narrative going on. It was just five strong images. So it was easy to find our spot. Philippe is, Philippe is great. I mean, it was just such a strong look. Drop him in and the shot was damn near shot itself. <laughs> it's a real treat to work with, with a talented model that gets it, understands what you're doing. And, and, they, and they move so well. It's acting and it's dancing. It's, it's it, so much is involved with it. And it's a real treat to work with a good one. You know, it, some models are a little bit inexperienced, but you know what, you just get to direct them. Sometimes you have to place them just so. It takes a bit more work, but we, we've always got, we always get our shot.